Hello guys! Elsu here back with another video. So in this video, I will be showing you 3 very profitable trade ups under $2, the first trade up will be a nice trade up which is fairly easy to do. The second trade up will be a 20% profit trade up which has been one of my favorite trade ups. The last trade up will be a 20% profit trade up also which is also pretty easy to spam SP make sure to watch until the end. So before we start, make sure to join my AK47 Redline giveaway. It is in another video so make sure to check it out, the link will be in the description. Also if you like trade ups, make sure to subscribe since I post new trade up videos every day so make sure to subscribe so you won't miss any video. Also before we start the video, keep in mind that the currency used in this video will be in US dollars and that the prices of the inputs will be in steam market prices. This means that you could increase your profit significantly by using buy orders instead, but I used steam market prices for an easier time. Also keep in mind that the prices of the outcomes will be the lowest listings in the steam community market. This means that you could also increase your profit by selling off your outcomes at a higher price than market price. Also make sure to check out TradeUpSpy using my link tradeupspy.com slash ref slash elsu link in the description for more free tradeups. With that out of the way, let's go to our first trade up. For our first trade up, we will be doing an older and cool trade up. This will be using 3 field tested cash skins, which costs 38 cents each and 7 factory new bank skins, which costs 11 cents each. You must keep the average float to be less than 0.07. For the field tested cash skins, I recommend you to get inputs with floats less than 0.19. There will be a lot of these in the Steam community market. Meanwhile for the factory new bank skins, I recommend you to get inputs with floats less than 0.03, which should be pretty easy because of how common these skins are dropping. So if the inputs for this trade up is a little bit hard for you to do, you can try to use 2 field tested cash skins and 8 factory new bank skins instead. This will surely make it a lot easier and it will still be a 9% profit, which is really nice. So the total for this trade up will add up to $1.91, for the outcomes, you will have a 42% chance to get a cash skin, which is a really nice profit of your money. You will get an 8% chance to get the XM bone machine, which will be a decent profit. You will then get a 17% chance to get the MP9 or the Tech 9, which is around $2 profit and an 8% chance to get the Glock, which is around a $5 profit, which is really nice. You will then lose a dollar with the other outcomes so that is just a little loss. So by multiplying the prices of the outcomes to its percentage and by adding them all up, then by dividing it to the total cost of this trade up, you will get the profit of this trade up to be 14.14%, which is a really nice profit for this trade up. The outcomes of this trade up will also be a really nice investment so it is a really nice trade up. If you want me to make a video on good investments to increase your money, make sure to comment down below. Now that we have the inputs for this trade up, let's try this one out. We can see here that I have 7 factory new bank skins and 3 field tested cash skins. Let's hope to get a profit. Yes we got the Glock reactor. This skins is a really nice skins and this is also a really nice investment so I will be keeping this one. If you want me to make a video on good investments, make sure to comment down below. So for the second trade up, we will be using 6 minimal wear canal skins and 4 factory new 2018 nuke skins. The canal skins will cost you 17 cents each and the 2018 nuke skins will cost you 6 cents each. The average float of this trade up must add up to 0.07. So for the minimal wear canal skins, I recommend you to use skins with floats less than 0.1, which should be really easy to get. For the 2018 nuke skins, I recommend you to use floats with less than 0.03, which should also be really easy since this is still a pretty common drop. You can change this trade up a lot by using 7 minimal wear canal skins instead, if the inputs are too easy for you and that will be around a 25% profit. You can also use 5 minimal wear canals and 5 nuke skins instead if the inputs are harder for you to get and that will still be around a 13% profit so that is really nice. So the total cost of this trade up will add up to $1.26, for the outcomes, you will get a 15% chance to get an SG, which is a decent profit. But the main profit you will be waiting for is by getting the AK Baroque Purple. This will be 6 times your money so this will be really nice if you hit it. 
So by multiplying the price of the outcomes to its percentage then by adding them all up then dividing it to the total cost of this trade up, you will get the profit of this trade up to be 19.05%, which is a really nice profit for this trade up. So now that we have the inputs for this trade up, let's try this one out. So you can see here that I have 6 minimal wear canal skins and 4 factory new 2018 nuke skins. Let's hope to get a profit on this one. We got a nuke outcome. That was a loss so let's try it again one more time. Let's now hope to get a profit. We got another nuke outcome. That is very sad mate, but that should be okay since that was only small losses. So for our last trade up, we will be using 4 factory new. Clutch skins and 6 minimal wear wildfire skins. The factory new clutch skins will cost you 19 cents each and the minimal wear wildfire skins will cost you 18 cents each. The average float of this trade up must be less than 0.07 to get factory new outcomes on all outcomes. So for the minimal wear wildfire skins, I recommend you to use inputs with floats less than 0.1 and for the factory new clutch skins, I recommend you to use inputs with floats less than 0.03. The inputs of this one is also really flexible since if you find the inputs for this trade up too easy for you, you can try and use 7 minimal wear wildfire skins instead and that will increase your profit margins by a lot. If the inputs are too hard for you to get, you can also use 5 minimal wear wildfire skins and 5 factory new clutch skins instead, but that will be a slightly lower profit so keep that in mind. So the total cost of this trade up will add up to $1.84, for this trade up, you will get a lot of profit 24% of the time. It is by hitting the Famas or the Glock, which are both really nice skins. You will then be at a small loss with the MP7, the Mag 7, the 57, or the Glock Moonrise. You will then lose around 20 to 40 cents with the other outcomes. So this will be a really nice trade up since it is fairly safe so make sure to try this one out. Now that we have the inputs for this trade up, let's try this one out. So we have 20 inputs for this trade up so we can do 2 trade ups. You can see here that I have 6 minimal wear wildfire skins and 4 factory new clutch skins. Let's hope to get a profit here. Yes we got a famous valence. That is a very large profit so that is really nice. So on to our second trade up. Let's hope that this trade up is as successful as the first one. We got the MP7 Empire. That is a break even so that puts us at a win. So that is really nice. So anyway, that is all for today. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to my channel to see trade up videos every day. Make sure to turn notifications on also so you will be the first to see my videos. Also comment down below any questions you have since I will be replying to all of them. That is it for today. Make sure to check out TradeUp Spy using my link tradeupspy.com slash ref slash elsu link in the description. Always remember to gamble mathematically and tot rust my math. This is elsu and peace out.